In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the map update for your Genesis. This update will also fix the voice command problem that tells you no network connection, can't contact servers, whatever. So this will fix that problem. Now, before we begin the video, you're going to need two important things to conduct this update. So pay close attention. One is you need 60 gigabytes of free space on your computer. Okay, that's very important. And second, you need a USB drive with 64 gigabytes of data on it as well. So those two things being said, let's hop into the video. I'm going to show you guys how to download this update. What you need to do to download the update is go to this website, mappingsoft.com. Now, once you're here, you're going to go to place an order. Click on this, cover up my login info. And once you've done that, you're going to have to make an account and sign up. So make an account, sign up. Once you've made an account and signed up, it's going to ask you for your vehicle make. And if you live in the U.S. or Canada, I'm going to hit search. All right, now it's going to display all this info. Just ignore all this stuff. Um, you're going to go down here and hit download for free. All right, now it's going to take us here. Now, once you get to this page, go over to navigation updater download. Click on that. Okay, now it's going to ask you to download software for either Windows or for Mac. Click either one and it's going to up it's going to download a software on your computer. Once the software has downloaded, it's going to be called Navigation Updater. Launch that if it does not automatically launch. Once the software launches, you're going to be presented with this screen. You can try to log in with your login info from earlier. But for me, it didn't work, so I just went to guest login. Now we are here, logging in. So important thing to note right here, you need 60 gigabytes of free space on your hard drive. So you have to download this update first to your hard drive. If you try to download it first to your USB drive, it's not going to work and you're gonna waste your time. So you must download it first to your hard drive. Once you've got that selected, Hit next. So it's gonna ask where you wanna download it. You know, just download it somewhere in your computer. Hit okay. So mine has already downloaded, which is why it's downloading the screen. So the download time will depend on your internet speeds. For me, it took about an hour, hour and a half, hour and a half, I have a little bit faster internet. If you have a slower internet, it could take several hours. But once you download it, you're gonna be presented with this screen. What you wanna do is click copy to USB and you need to make sure that your USB drive is plugged in your computer. So I hit copy to USB. Now it should automatically select it right here, D drive, that is my USB. You're going to wanna hit next. Now it's going to display this warning message and it's gonna prompt you to hit no. You're gonna wanna hit yes, hit the clear gray button and hit yes, just ignore all this info. And then it's gonna say formatting will delete all that on the portable dice. So make sure you're using a device with nothing on it. To me, I just went out, I just bought a fresh USB drive for this. So hit yes for it to format and delete, and then it will begin the download. Now, once the download finishes, it's going to display like this in your file. Now you need to make sure it's just the individual files within the USB and not any folders. If you did everything properly, just as I showed you, it should display like this. So at this point, you know, just eject your USB drive and you will be good to go. So now next, I'm gonna walk over to the car and I'm gonna show you how to install it into your vehicle. So see you guys in just a second. So get in your car. You do not have to turn your engine on, but just turn your battery on. Get your profile to pull up. Select that and then go over and hold down the setup button until this screen appears. All right, cool. Now, once that screen appears, take your USB, plug it in. And then it should say reading USB and then pull up this message. Now it says audio update. It's It updates the map and the audio and other stuff in your car. It's kind of like an all-in-one update, but this is the map update. So hit start and then It'll sit here and say this for a little bit. Now, once the update begins, you can completely turn your car off, like get out of the car, turn it off and lock it, and it will continue to update. You don't have to sit in there and wait on it. Mine took about, 
I left the car for about two hours or so when it was finished when I came back. So give it a good hour to two hours and it should install. So like I said, I came back to the car after about two hours and the update had finished. It told me that, you know, the update was complete. So at that point, I just ejected the USB. Uh, the notorious voice error message where it says it can't connect to POI, whatever, network, uh, right there, that button. It fixed that issue and the voice actually changed a little bit, which is kind of funny, but so that issue was fixed. Everything was updated. Everything works fine now. Super easy process. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop a comment below and I'm happy to try and help you guys troubleshoot any problems. So yeah, pretty straightforward update. Longest part is just the install and download times. But other than that, hope you found this helpful and I'll see you.